from Frontier Middle School here. What I'm going to show you how to do today is get the Spike Prime app for the new Spike Prime robotics kit. I don't know if you can see the little robot there, but believe me, I'm holding it up. It's pretty simple. All you want to do is find self-service on your iPad. You may not use the App Store for this. It will not work properly. You might not be able to get it. You want to use self-service. That's what we have set up for you. That's what we would like you to use. I click on self-service. I'm going to click on the search uh, magnifying glass in the bottom of the screen. And then in the search bar, I will type the word spike. It's the only thing that shows up. When I click install, it may give me a glitchy glitch because I've already installed it. And it is giving me a glitchy glitch. I thought I uninstalled it. There we go. You should get it right the first time. I just had to click install a few times because it was like, you already have this. I'm like, no, I deleted it. There you go. Now I can exit out of here by double clicking the button and sliding it away. There's Spike Prime loading up in the uh, top there. About halfway done now. By the time I sip my coffee, it should be all the way finished. Boom. Tap on it. It will use some bad grammar, say use Bluetooth to connect to U-Hub. It means your hub. Uh, what we're going to do is click OK there. From this page, we're just going to click skip. And then when you're here, take a screenshot. And that is what you're going to submit to Canvas to show that you completed the first assignment of properly downloading the programming, programming environment to your iPad. Let your instruction know if you have any problems or questions. Thank you.